When it comes to consumers and mobile restaurant technology, there's a, a whole lot of different things that people imagine that consumers might be interested in doing in restaurants with mobile devices, particularly mobile phones. Um, it's interesting to break those down to find where the, the uh, most likely use cases are and, and, uh, and what is most likely to benefit the operator. Generally, the early applications that have been out there, let's call them kind of the first phase applications, have been about, are about a few things, but mostly centered around the idea of uh, I want to be able to find the place that I want to eat, uh, and I want to know what it is that people think about that place uh, as a place to eat. So tell me where it is and tell me about it. Did you like it or did you not like it? Maybe some other things like um, how long am I going to expect to wait there? How much does it cost to eat there? That sort of thing. Um, more details about the menu and so forth. Other um, uh, use cases involve doing things as complex as placing an order uh, at the restaurant in advance of arriving there or perhaps even when you're there. Um, other things include the idea of paying uh, for your order uh, in advance of wanting to leave. Uh, let's say that, that uh, you know that uh, your meal is winding down, you'd like to be able to pay for that, you'd like to not have to wait on a server to come to you to present you with a check and you give them your credit card and so forth. So there are a variety of different applications out there, uh, different possibilities uh, for user use. Of, uh, of restaurant uh, interactions with technology. Um, the, the interesting thing is that for the most part these days, those applications have been provided uh, really kind of one at a time uh, by different application providers. Sometimes they're privately branded by restaurants, sometimes they're not. Um, but generally what we've seen is that most applications these days are really centered more around what consumer expectations are uh, perhaps, and less around what's actually going to benefit um, their experience once they're there and uh, the operator uh, that's actually hosting the consumer. Um, so, uh, in, in other words, the application developer wants eyeballs. Uh, you know, they want as many consumers downloading their application as possible because that's how they get paid. Um, whether or not that results in a long-term benefit for the consumer, whether or not that's actually helpful to the operator is perhaps an open question. So um, what we see is that the, the applications that are going to work the best over the long haul are going to be the ones where everybody wins, uh, where the operator is doing more than, let's just say, giving a discount to a customer. Um, they're, they're actually getting information that helps them market, that helps them serve their customer better. Um, where the customer is getting more than a passing benefit of finding a restaurant in the moment, but maybe actually uh, having a, a more rich relationship with that restaurant operator that provides them entitlement to, let's say, better treatment. Uh, and, and one, of course, where application developers uh, can have a good uh, path for being able to, to remain profitable and provide good service over time. All three of those things need to happen, and so far, uh, generally it seems for the most part, maybe one or two of those things is happening, but perhaps not all three. Um, we think that we'll have the systems in place to make all three of those happen. And, uh, and to really change the face of the restaurant industry over time.